Welcome to another one of our bits about Bitcoin. We're getting a bigger budget now. They must like the uh, the show we're doing. Look at this. We got lights. We got more lights. What is this, Larry? What is that? A teleprompter. A teleprompter is supposed to have words. Where are the words? It's got no words on it. It's just a screen with me. Ah, uh, oh, Larry. Oh, uh, before I forget, I want to give a, a shout out. Isn't that what the kids say? A shout out to all my friends and colleagues in Scotland. Scotland! I did a uh, film there uh, a few years ago, and it was a rugby film. Uh, my son started it, and I played Finlay Kilgore, the scourge of Scottish rugby, his father. And, and the reason I mention it is we were shooting in, uh, in this little place called Melrose, which is the home of Seven Aside Rugby, and they gave me the tie. This is from the Melrose Rugby Club. So thank you, all my friends and wonderful people in Melrose. Um, I'm going to talk about... Uh, you know, whenever I have a problem, whether it's with a computer or, um, or an iPhone or anything like that, the thing you really have to do is find some 15-year-old kid to tell you what you're doing wrong. And, uh, and so it's pretty obvious that in the development of new apps and new technology that we should go to colleges and universities and get those wonderful, brilliant uh, young people to, uh, to do some research for us. There have already been several universities that are accepting Bitcoin as payment for tuition and in their bookstores, uh, places like Stanford, uh, Michigan, the Warsaw School of Economics, which I presume is not in Poland, right? Uh, Penn State, San Francisco State, Northwestern Ohio State, Berkeley, Boise, stacks of them, Boston College, they're already taking Bitcoins in their bookstores and for tuition. And so obviously the one place that uh, we look at for leadership in science and technology is quite simply the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And they got some of the world's most brilliant minds there to, uh, to use their creativity and innovation. And what they did earlier this year, they launched the MIT BitComp which was a competition to inspire and motivate students and alumni to develop Bitcoin-related apps. They offered $15,000 in prizes to the people that came up with the best apps. The scale of talent was just enormous. They created charitable applications, educational applications, simple and yet brilliant ideas, uh, as they say, and uh, as, as would be expected. Uh, and they're expecting that this technology will help to lower students' costs right across the board. This is a quote. Who's it a quote from? You didn't put who it's a quote from. Somebody important. <laughs> this is from somebody important. Students are the next generation technology leaders, and we expect them to be at the forefront of new technology adoption like Bitcoin, and I'm sure they will be. There's so much new things, so many new things happening every day, and that's what we're here for, to bring you up to date on some of them. And if you go to the website, uh, you'll be able to learn about so many more. The website is simply www.bitnews.us, www.bitnews.us. Go there and you can learn all sorts of wonderful things about the world of Bitcoin. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.